nowadays, you might have seen my Watch Me Make video from yesterday, where I used a lathe to make a finial and a topper for a sea urchin shell to make a pretty cool looking ornament. I love the look of these, but I know that not a lot of people have access to a lathe. I wanted to show you all how you could use sea urchin shells and make ornaments out of things you already have or can easily get. I'm also going to do a giveaway for this ornament, so stay tuned to the end for all the rules and all the other good stuff. Let's get started. For the first ornament, you'll need a sea urchin shell, a drawer pull, I got this at my local craft store, some string, two part epoxy, super glue. This one is super easy. You're just gonna stick the drawer pull through the shell like this, and then fit the other piece over top like this, and then thread the washer and nut onto the screw. Don't over tighten the nut because you might crack the shell. And then take some string, loop it, and attach it to the top of the screw. If you think it needs it, you can dab the knot with super glue to keep it in place. The sea urchin shells I bought were pretty tiny, so the screw part of the pull stuck right through. But if you end up getting a larger shell, or if your pull's screw is short, or if you have the means and decide to cut the screw down, you could use a two-part epoxy to glue the pull onto the bottom and then the other part on top. And then you can just use the little wire loop that comes with most ornaments and stick that in the hole on top and tie thread to that. Here it is finished. To make a beaded urchin ornament, you'll need sea urchin shells, beads, thread, a needle, wooden drawer knob. This has to be wide enough to cover the top hole of the shell. I drilled a hole all the way through the middle and used India ink to stain it black and then finished it with clear acrylic spray. Cut a length of thread. I used about two foot, but you may need more or less depending on how many beads and how big your shell is. Thread a small bead onto the string and then fold it in half and then thread both sides of the string onto a needle, like so and then simply string your beads on in the order you like. I was trying to mimic the finial kind of style like the wood turned ornament. So I started with some small ones at the bottom, and then a long thin one, and then a pretty bulbous one, and then a smaller one. I totally also didn't give myself enough thread the first time and had to go back and redo it with a longer piece. So once you have the look you like, thread your urchin on. Then thread the knob, and then one more small bead to finish it off. Add a little glob of glue to keep the bead in place. Tie a knot a few inches up, snip the extra string off, and you're done. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a drawer knob, and you have some beads that would be big enough to cover the whole of the shell, you could just use that on top instead, like so. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. I post videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and now Pinterest. All the links and information of those will be down below. If you try any of these ornaments or any of my previous projects, then I would love to see your pictures or anything like that. Just send them to any of the social media accounts that I just listed. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. So now here's all the information for the giveaway. I decided to do this kind of last minute, so unfortunately you won't be getting the ornament in time for this Christmas. Next year I'll try to plan this stuff out better. So for this giveaway, you can enter three different ways. Number one, through YouTube. First, you must be a subscriber, and then simply leave a comment down below. Two, Twitter. To enter on Twitter, you have to be following me, of course, and then just retweet my tweet, which should be out by now, which has this picture and the hashtag Cheslin2014Xmas. Three, my blog. To enter through my blog, just go to the post for this week and leave a comment. If you're entering through my blog, there's a little space to enter your email address. Don't forget to do that, because if you win, then I need it to contact you. This giveaway will end on Sunday the 28th, and then the next video of that week, which will be January 1st, I will announce the winner. I'll leave more information for all of this down below and also in my blog. Again, happy holidays and good luck! See you next week!